this is Jordan with Hometown Domination. And this video is a response video to my original video entitled Recommended Handbrake Settings for Minimum Quality Loss. And this video is a, a, an update video and specifically a video that I wanted to get out there to respond to some of these comments uh, and kind of clear the air uh, with my experience with the Handbrake software system. Uh, first off, what you see in this video the, the original video is the extent of my experience with Handbrake. Uh, the only file sizes that I've ever used with Handbrake is a, an MOV file. And what I do, the extent of my experience with Handbrake, is I create my videos obviously either in HD with an HD camera and then I upload it and, and modify it in iMovie and or ScreenFlow. Or a lot of my videos these days have just been shooting things in ScreenFlow, doing keynote uh, style videos, animation, graphics, and stuff like that. And then I use ScreenFlow to do the editing. So everything I work with from a raw video standpoint is an MOV file. So that's the only file extension that I have experience working with in Handbrake. I take my MOV file, I slap it into Handbrake. I turn it into a, an MP4 file. I make the few adjustments that I showed you in this video. I do it for web optimized. I wanted it. I, have, I make sure it's an MP4 file. I do it web optimized. I change the audio from 160 to 128, and I change the the reference frames from one to four, and that's it. Those are the only. That's my extent with the Handbrake software, unfortunately. So I just wanted to get that out there because I keep getting questions about, well, what about this and what about that and how do I use this file? Like I had somebody ask me about Blu-ray files. I don't have any experience with messing with ripping Blu-ray files or uh, recording video games or anything like that. I, all I use Handbrake for is I input my MOV files and I spit out MP4 files. It saves me on average 80 to 90% in my file sizes and that's all I care about. Uh, that is just a means to an end for me. I started using Handbrake simply to cut my file sizes down and on average my videos average about 100 megabytes. I throw it into Handbrake it spits out a file anywhere from 8 megs to 18 megs and I'm happy with that so I haven't spent time tweaking Handbrake and trying to figure out different weird interesting settings nothing. So I apologize really I want to apologize to you guys who are commenting on this thread. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the comments. I wish I could help you, but my experience really is limited using Handbrake. I use it simply to save hard drive space, and that's it. Um, and I don't have the time. I wish I had the time, because I'd love to answer your questions and be able to help you, but I don't have the time to, to, to spend in Handbrake trying to answer your questions and figure things out for you and tweak the settings and whatever. So you're going to have to uh, find the answers on your own, for these specific questions about recording video game files and ripping Blu-ray files and things like that. Um, or just go ahead and leave your comments on here because it's getting a lot of uh, feedback from other people and somebody else who's more experienced with these other file types may stumble across your comment and be able to answer your question. But unfortunately, I won't be able to. So hope that helped. Hope that clears the air for you guys asking all these specific questions. Sorry I'm unable to help you, but I just wanted to get that out there and let you know where I stand. So Jordan from Hometown Domination, I'll talk to you soon.